Good evening, everybody. Hopefully this is recording. We'll find out later. If it's not, if it's not, you'll never see it. So tonight I'm going to show you a little bit of how I use SharpCap 4.1 uh, to do some planetary imaging. So the first thing I'm going to show you is polar alignment. I have a uh, an 1100 Edge HD. That's an 11-inch Cassegrain telescope sitting on a C-GEM uh, mount and I'm going to polar align it using my uh, electronic finder scope. An electronic finder scope is a 40 millimeter SV Boney uh, guide scope. It's an F4 guide scope and stuck into the back of it it is a cheap SV305 planetary camera. I say cheap but it's still a real deal planetary camera. It's got an IMX290 sensor uh, it is, for all intents and purposes, uh, equivalent to the ASI 290, and I don't think anybody criticizes that one too much. So let's fire up SharpCap. Written by the amazing Dr. Robin Glover. I cannot thank enough for all the work he does. So again, my guide scope here is an uh, SB Boney 305, so that's what I picked. Just a few words, I've got the DeBayer preview here turned off. It is a color camera. You could turn that on, you can see that it's a color camera, but my, I keep my exposure pretty short for this purpose, so there's a lot of color noise, and I'd rather just turn it off, so I get a nice black and white grayscale here. You'll notice there's no hot pixels. Uh, I could shoot darks in sharp cap, but instead uh, I am lazy, and I uh, just use hot pixel removal instead. This is a feature that I requested, and Dr. Glover obligingly implemented, and it is great. It just detects and removes hot pixels, so you don't have to look at them. Uh, it is great. Okay, let's polar align. I'm going to go to Tools. I'm going to choose Polar Align. SharpCap looks at the sky, and plate solves near the pole. It has solved. I'm not going to go through all the settings here to get this working just right. It can be a little bit finicky, uh, but it is not too bad. Um, and you can see it says press next button before rotating the RA axis. So I'm going to hit next, and then I'm going to rotate the RA axis. And what SharpCap does here is it plate solves before you rotate the axis, and it plate solves after you rotate the axis. One second. and it compares those two images, and it figures out the rotation axis. And it knows that's where the rotation axis uh, of the telescope is pointed at. So I'm hitting next, and it says, ah, my polar alignment is poor. It says that I am 18 uh, minutes out. I need to move to the right 18 arc minutes, and I need to move up uh, not quite 10 arc minutes. So this is poor polar alignment. Uh, that's all right. I'm going to just make whatever adjustments I need to make. So I'm moving my axis to the right. Sometimes on my mount it goes a little bit in the wrong direction first. That's okay. It'll tighten up. There we go. Should be moving in the right direction now. Yep. And you can see that now I changed to the uh, right-left first because that arrow was larger, but now the up-down is larger. So I'm going to work on that. A little up. A little up. And now my right is larger again. I'm going to work on that. And I make small movements. Because if you make large movements, then you overshoot, and that's no fun. So mostly I have to go up now. And one little trick that I like to use, because I have a C-Gem, uh, which, you know, it's a nice mount, but the 1100 Edge HD is a little bit heavy for it, so it struggles a little bit, and the design of the C-Gem uh, 
has some unavoidable backs backlash in the declination gear in particular. So what I like to do is actually leave the polar alignment offset. Uh, that's good enough. So I leave the polar alignment offset uh, a minute of arc or two, and that enforces a drift in one direction. And that way, my deck axis guiding is not constantly switching directions uh, and having to take up the backlash. So you can see that I'm uh, within an arc minute uh, up and down, and I'm uh, within about an arc minute and a half left and right, and I want to leave a little leave a little purposeful misalignment so I can uh, get that uh, non-switching guiding. And I'm done. I'm done with my polar alignment. My mount is polar aligned. It took me about twice as long as it would have because I'm yapping. So we are done with that.